The occurrence of infanticide has been documented for numerous cat species, most dramatically in the lion. It is generally accepted that the infanticidal male gains reproductive advantages by eliminating unrelated offspring so that females come into oestrus sooner, thus accelerating their genetic contribution. However, a possible exception to this pattern among felids is the cheetah. Cheetahs are often conspicuous and easily observed. Thousands of hours of observation have been devoted to their study and despite all of these efforts, infanticide has never been recorded. In this episode, we'll be delving into some of the reasons why cheetahs do not engage in infanticide. But before we continue, this episode is proudly brought to you by Kenya Wild Parks, your ultimate gateway to the stunning beauty of Kenya's national parks, reserves and conservancies. For a preview of the extraordinary adventures that await you, visit our website at www.kenyawildparks.com. Now back to our episode, why are cheetahs the only big cats that don't participate in infanticide of their kind or other big cats? One of the reasons why cheetahs do not kill their cubs is because of the nature of female cheetahs' territories. Unlike lions and leopards, female cheetahs do not have fixed territories, but rather vast ranges. They roam over large areas, with their territories often overlapping with those of other females. As a result, male cheetahs do not have much to gain from killing cubs, as the female would likely move on to another area by the time she can conceive again. This lack of territorial aggression plays a crucial role in reducing the likelihood of infanticide among cheetahs. Another factor contributing to the lack of infanticide amongst cheetahs is the unique reproductive cycle of these cats. Most cheetah mums can conceive again when their cubs are around one year old, unlike other big cats that have longer intervals between pregnancies. This means that male cheetahs may chase off the cubs to mate with the mother, but they do not necessarily have to kill them. Once the mother becomes pregnant again, the cubs are typically independent and able to fend for themselves. While there have been rumors that cheetahs avoid infanticide due to the risk of injury from larger cubs, this theory does not hold up entirely. Male cheetahs have been observed engaging in deadly territorial clashes with other males, indicating that they are not averse to violence when necessary. Additionally, cheetahs do not seem to participate in the infanticide observed in other big cats, such as lions killing lept cubs or vice versa. However, there have been reports of cheetah mothers chasing off lion cubs with intent, but no actual killings have been observed. Overall, the reasons behind the absence of infanticide in cheetahs remain their huge territorial dynamics as well as reproductive strategies.